tomorrow like we think about now? Can we survive it out there? Can we make it somehow? I guess I thought that this would never end. And suddenly it's like the women and men. Will the past be a shadow that will follow us around? Will these memories fade when I leave this town? I keep, keep thinking that it's not goodbye. I keep on thinking it's a time to fly. So we talked all night about the rest of our lives Where we're gonna be when we turn 25 I keep thinking times will never change Keep on thinking things will always be the same But when we leave this year we won't be coming back No more hanging out cause we're on a different track And if you got something that you need to say You better say it right now cause you don't have another day Cause we're moving on and we can't slow down These memories are playing like a film without sound 
tomorrow like we think about now? Can we survive it out there? Can we make it somehow? I guess I thought that this would never end. And suddenly it's like the women and men. Will the past be a shadow that will follow us around? Will these memories fade when I leave this town? I keep, keep thinking that it's not goodbye. I keep on thinking it's a time to fly. So we talked all night about the rest of our lives Where we're gonna be when we turn 25 I keep thinking times will never change Keep on thinking things will always be the same But when we leave this year we won't be coming back No more hanging out cause we're on a different track And if you got something that you need to say You better say it right now cause you don't have another day Cause we're moving on and we can't slow down
about tomorrow like we think about now? Can we survive it out there? Can we make it somehow? I guess I thought that this would never end. And suddenly it's like the women and men. Will the past be a shadow that will follow us round? Will these memories fade when I leave this town? I keep, keep thinking that it's not goodbye. I keep on thinking it's a time to fly. So we talked all night about the rest of our lives Where we're gonna be when we turn 25 I keep thinking times will never change Keep on thinking things will always be the same But when we leave this year we won't be coming back No more hanging out cause we're on a different track And if you got something that you need to say You better say it right now cause you don't have another day Cause we're moving on and we can't slow down This memory
right now? Can we survive it out there? Can we make it somehow? I guess I thought that this would never end. And suddenly it's like the women and men. Will the past be a shadow that will follow us around? Will these memories fade when I leave this town? I keep, keep thinking that it's not goodbye. I keep on thinking it's a time to fly. So we talked all night about the rest of our lives Where we're gonna be when we turn 25 I keep thinking times will never change Keep on thinking things will always be the same When we leave this year we won't be coming back No more hanging out cause we're on a different track And if you got something that you need to say You better say it right now cause you don't have another day Cause we're moving on and we can't slow down These memories are playing like
tomorrow like we think about now? Can we survive it out there? Can we make it somehow? I guess I thought that this would never end. And suddenly it's like the women and men. Will the past be a shadow that will follow us around? Will this memory fade when I leave this town? I keep, keep thinking that it's not goodbye. I keep on thinking it's a time to fly. Hello. Good afternoon all. Please stand for the Chancellor's procession and remain standing for the national anthem and the invocation.
afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I call on Mr. Beryl Jofield to say the prayer. Good day. I ask at this time that you bow your heads and close your eyes for us to bless this graduation ceremony this evening. O Supreme One, origin of all being, we thank you for giving us another day as we gather here to celebrate UTT's presentation of graduates 2018. Give us a keen understanding of the importance of the role that graduates of UTT, the national university, have in the development of our communities and Trinidad and Tobago by extension. Give us faith, courage, and wisdom to fulfill our purpose and the promise as students and graduates of UTT. Show us how to effectively serve you so that all of our education, knowledge, and skills may find true fulfillment as we learn to do your will. May we ever be aware in everything that we do that knowledge comes from learning and wisdom comes from you. Thank you, O Supreme One. At this time, I ask for a moment of silence for all our members of UTT and our UTT family who may have passed away. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your time. Please enjoy the rest of our ceremony. Thank you very much, Mr. Beryl Jofield. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated at this time. Kindly listen to the safety briefing. At UTT, we have a duty of care to our guests, students, and staff in maintaining a safe, smoke-free campus environment. In this regard, we have a few announcements aimed at ensuring your safety at our facility. Please be guided by the following. In the event of an emergency, you will be notified verbally. Any emergency which requires an evacuation from the pavilion, you will be guided to the appropriate muster point. The main muster point at the campus is located north of the main building, which is the grassy area opposite the guard booth on entrance. Your evacuation route is as follows. Exit the pavilion using exits either to the left or right of the building. Once outside, head north to muster point one, which is located at the grassy area opposite the guard booth on entrance. You will be required to remain at the muster point until the all clear is given by UTT personnel or fire officials. Washrooms are located at the building to the back of the pavilion with appropriate signage. Portable water coolers are located in the pavilion. A health and wellness room is available at the building to the back of the pavilion should the need for first aid attention arises. We do hope you have a pleasant and safe stay at our campus. Her Excellency Paula May Weeks, ORTT, President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago and Chancellor of the University of Trinidad and Tobago. Professor Clement Imbert, Acting Chairman, University of Trinidad and Tobago Board of Governors and other members of the Board of Governors. Councillor Dr. Agatha Carrington, 
Secretary of Health, Wellness and Family Development, Tobago House of Assembly. Mr. Alvin Cornell, Honorary Doctor of Humane Letters. Mr. Roy Augustus, Honorary Distinguished Fellow. Heads and members of tertiary institutions. Professor Sarim Al Zubaidi, President of the University of Trinidad and Tobago. Professor Festus Adeyobo, Vice Provost, Postgraduate Studies and Research. Professor Rohani Maharaj, Vice Provost, Undergraduate Studies. Mr. Philip Robinson, Registrar, the University of Trinidad and Tobago. Orator, Dr. Trisha Alvarez. Orator, Mr. Richard Pear. Academic and corporate staff of the University of Trinidad and Tobago. Members of the Students Guild and other students of the University of Trinidad and Tobago. Graduates of 2018. Specially invited guests. Family members and friends. Members of the media. Ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to invite Her Excellency Paula May Weeks, ORTT, President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, and Chancellor of the University of Trinidad and Tobago to declare the graduation ceremony open. Your Excellency. As Chancellor of the University, I declare this ceremony open for the conferment of certificates, diplomas, and degrees by the authority of the Academic Council and the Board of Governors. Thank you, Chancellor, for declaring our graduation ceremony open. Acting Chairman, I now invite you to address some words of welcome to the gathering. Good afternoon, Her Excellency. Paula May Weeks, ORTT, President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, and Chancellor of UTT. Councillor Agatha Carrington, Secretary of Health, Wellness, and Family Development of the Tobago House of Assembly. I had the Honorable Minister as the second person on the salutation list, but there was a, a very late call for Parliament today, so he asked me to um, make, give his regrets that he couldn't be here with us today because he has to be in Parliament. Members of the Board of Governors of UTT, Mr. Alvin Cornell, Honorary Doctor of Human Letters, Mr. Roy Augustus, Honorary Distinguished Fellow, Heads and Members of Tertiary Institutions, Professor Saram Al Zubaidi, President. UDT, Professor Festus Aroyobo, Vice President, Vice Provost, Postgraduate Studies and Research, Professor Rohani Maharaj, Vice Provost on Graduate Studies, Mr. Philip Robinson, Registrar, Orators, Dr. Trisha Alvarez, and Mr. Richard Pear, UTD, UTD Academic and Corporate Staff, members of the Student Guild and other students of UDT, Ms. Camille Leblanc, valedictorian, graduates of 2018, specially invited guests, parents, guardians, family members and friends, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. That was almost half of my speech. I didn't want to say all protocols observed. My wife, who would have heard of it, would have excoriated me for doing that. She doesn't like it, so I couldn't do it. And she's six foot tall, so I have to be careful. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the 2000.
2018 presentation of graduates of the University of Trinidad and Tobago, the National University. Aptly themed in pursuit of excellence, this year's graduation ceremony recognizes and celebrates the significant academic achievements of all graduates and their commitment to excellence in their respective fields. On this ceremonial occasion, I join with the Chancellor, the Board of Governors, the wider university community, family, friends, and well wishers in extending heartfelt congratulations to you, the graduating class of 2018. I am hopeful that the time you spent at UDT has been a period during which you would have greatly benefited from the wealth of knowledge and the vast experiences of your instructors and professors, as well as your colleagues, who often bring perspectives that the academic staff may overlook. The university is a community of scholars, and we learn from one another, students and staff alike. So while the graduation is an, ac an accomplishment which you can celebrate and justly reflect on with pride, it is also a celebratory time for all those who contributed to your journey and for the university also, as you have processed so resplendently in your graduation gowns of burgundy, blue, green, red, and black. Government's vision indicates that all citizens are assured of a sound, relevant education system tailored to meet the human resource needs of a modern, progressive, and technologically advancing nation. This provision of quality education is set on the premise that an investment in education is an investment in people who are our greatest assets any country's greatest assets for that matter. Appropriately managed then, this education system can be utilized to engender transformational change in all spheres of society. And herein lies the objective of UDT, whose goal is to provide students with opportunities for accessing quality tertiary level education in areas that are aligned with the local economy and national objectives. This means that UDT is continuously reviewing its programs to produce outcomes that support a diversified economy and promote continued national prosperity, social well-being, and wellness. However, notwithstanding the relevance to national development, UDT, like many other institutions of higher education around the world, is faced with a number of significant challenges. These may be appropriately na navigated by implementing strategic measures which will allow the institution to adapt to its environment and maintain a competitive edge. A very topical challenge is a reduction in income resulting from lower levels of student enrollment and from smaller government subventions Necessitated, necessitated by a period of economic downturn. UDT has not been able to isolate itself from these developments. And like many other institution, institutions, has had to respond in a manner that consolidates its operations whilst trying as far as possible to minimize any negative impacts on our students. And in fact, we have been able to arrest the decline that has taken place in enrollment over the years. Several creative approaches have been adopted to overcome these challenges, not only to survive, but to allow the university to grow and to excel. And even while this is a celebratory function, allow me a few moments to address a concern that has often been left unattended. UDT is the national university. It belongs to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. 
and is intended to service our needs as citizens. And while there may be some passionate differences of opinion on any number of matters pertaining to the National University, the discourse should be constructive, even when critical, such that it builds the institution and not bring it into disrepute. We must, as academics, students, and other stakeholders, ensure that the significant investment which has been made in UTT allows it to develop into a dynamic, robust, and highly respected institution that will continue to produce generations of leaders, both nationally and internationally. You, the graduating class of 2018, have demonstrated this concept and are now part of a growing legacy. Even though we are a young institution, UDT and its students have accomplished a lot. We have attained the continuing institutional accreditation from the Accreditation Council of Trinidad and Tobago for the maximum period of seven years. And we have also attained specialized accreditation from the highest international agencies for those programs that are required to be accredited. When we revealed what we are, who we are, and what we have done and are doing, UTT's international ranking rose dramatically. UTT had not been previously very conscious of what we had to make the ranking agencies aware of exactly who we are, what we are, and what we have been doing. Institutions within the region and further afield in Africa have taken notice of UTT's programs, faculty, and facilities, and have asked to partner with us to assist them in establishing programs in petroleum engineering. And this is taking place as I speak. UTT students also have done very well in many fields of endeavor. Helen Francis, for example, this year's Calypso Monarch, in only his second appearance at the Dimash Gra. And Avaron Van Loo of the Ultimate Rejects, we all remember the 2016 road match winners, the Ultimate Rejects. Adrian Fraser won the 2011 Fashion Panache Designer of the Year Award and showcased at New York's and London's Fashion Week. Timothy Derry led the 2017 Forum of Sports Volunteers worldwide. He led them worldwide when it took place in Russia. And the list goes on. Mindful of the long-term role for UTT in the tertiary education landscape, planning for the institution continues with chief among these being the inauguration of the long-awaited UDT Tamana campus, which is said to be the nucleus of the Tamana Intech Park, poised to be the premier center of innovation, technology, and entrepreneurship. The UDT signature campus will be an illustrious example of modernity. Housing state-of-the-art laboratories, leading research facilities, and spaces conducive for students and staff to meet, collaborate, and learn. A strong emphasis will also be placed on the university's research agenda to unearth relevant, applicable knowledge that serves to positively impact the wider society. Graduates, workspaces today and job functions are changing. These perilous economic times have created a precarious job market and the rapid development of cutting edge technology has certainly revolutionized the way in which we work and the way in which we do almost everything. The qualifications which you have now earned only indicate your ability to effectively analyze and assimilate information. Today's graduate must possess much more 20th century skills 
to be able to perform at optimum level. There is also the need to forge robust linkages with other like-minded individuals in order to achieve a common goal indeed, much more than scholarly achievements alone. The, the devastating effects of climate change and upsurge in incidences of terrorism, threats of nuclear warfare, and discord among nations have all dominated headlines within recent time. A look at the headlines in our print and electronic media causes unease and alarm. Indeed, such news can wear heavily on the human psyche, leading one to being a bit despondent at times. However, I urge you to remember the resilience and resourcefulness of the human spirit, which reveals its true metal by being repeatedly tested. Graduates, let us be guided by the inherent goodness of humanity, with each of us being personally responsible for our contributing actions. Let us not lose the human touch and interpersonal connection in this age of technology, artificial intelligence, as well as the distance and abstraction of social media. I challenge you. I challenge you because at no time in our 56-year history as an independent nation has Trinidad and Tobago needed the vibrancy, energy, and creative thinking of the younger generation as it does now. Our country is in the midst of very serious economic and social challenges, as I said before. And it is only with hard work, determination, and a sense of community, creativity, and national pride that we'll be able to address these very serious issues. Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. It has been said in different ways by several other people. I challenge you to act towards changing society for the better. Your actions can cause a ripple effect that may have positive, long-reaping rewards for Trinidad and Tobago and indeed beyond. Be fearless and understand your role as trailblazers, all 1,789 of you. Allow me, as I am about to close, to quote Luke 12, 48. For unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. You are a privileged minority in the society. You have just acquired tertiary level qualifications. You must therefore use your talents and resources to the benefit of the less fortunate majority, to the benefit of your country as a whole. So as I close, let me indicate that I've always felt particularly privileged to participate in ceremonies such as this, which formally celebrate success, hard work, and sacrifice of young people and they're not so young. Is it with an immense sense of pride and renewed hope that I pay tribute to all of you because there is no greater accomplishment than a master seeing the apprentice exceed the master's capability. It is my esteemed privilege and honor to witness the academic celebration and to say again, congratulations to all UDT graduates, you will soon be graduates of 2018. Blessings on all those who have helped you along the way. May God bless you and our nation. I thank you. Thank you, Professor Imber. Thank you for underlining UTT's pivotal role in building a nation 
At this time, I've got an important announcement with the driver of PDS 8454. Kindly report to your vehicle at this time. Driver of PDS 8454. It is urgent. Kindly report to your vehicle. I now call on Dr. Kerry Dollaway to deliver the citation for Mr. Alvin Corneille. Good afternoon, everyone. All protocols observed. Born in 1937, Mr. Alvin Corneille is a cricket and football legend. The San Juan native is a former forward of the Trinidad and Tobago national football team and also served as an opening batsman for the national cricket team, playing 40 first-class matches. In 1949, he attended Fatima College and for his many achievements was inducted into the Hall of Achievement by the Fatima College All Boys Association in 2015. Mr. Corneal furthered his studies at Loughborough College of Physical Education, England, and the German College of Physical Culture in Leipzig. During his national footballing career, which spanned 14 years, Corneal received 119 caps, scoring 69 goals. His major achievements include winning a bronze medal at the 1977 Pan Am Games in Manitoba, Canada. Mr. Corneal's professional credentials in sport include an advanced coaching certificate by the English Football Association and a FIFA coaching instructor's license. As he continued to pursue football at the highest level, his impressive accolades also included being the first Caribbean person to be appointed a member of FIFA's technical committee and technical study group. In 1969, at the end of his professional career, Mr. Corneal turned his focus to the managerial side of football, establishing the Alcon Soccer Academy, which has exposed over 500 students to the sport of football, even facilitating further education through the receipt of scholarships from international universities. During this time, he served as coach of the national youth and the national senior teams, as well as the national teams of St. Vincent, Guyana, Barbados, and St. Kitts Nevis. Mr. Corneal held the position of head coach at North Carolina State University and was ceremoniously recognized for his contribution, being the first person of African descent to hold such a position. One of his major contributions to cricket was as his selection as commissioner of a president-appointed committee responsible for the rewriting of the constitution of local cricket. To date, Mr. Corneal is the only national to have earned the highest international coaching licenses in both cricket and football. Mr. Corneal also held the position of director of sports at the University of the West Indies and is well known as a sports commentator and analyst for Olympic Games and World Cup tournaments. For his service to sports, Mr. Corneal was inducted into the Hall of Fame of Trinidad and Tobago in 1987 and was awarded the Hummingbird Medal Silver in 2009. Mr. Corneal continues to serve his country as a sports consultant, specialization in the organ specializing sorry, in the organization, management, and coaching of various disciplines. The University of Trinidad and Tobago is pleased to confer the title of Honorary Doctor of Humane Letters upon Mr. Alvin Corneal. Thank you very much, Dr. Kerry Dolloway, for delivering that citation. 
I now invite the Chancellor and President to make the presentation. Thank you, Chancellor, and congratulations, Dr. Alvin Corneal. I now, I now call on Professor Hollis Liverpool to deliver the citation for Mr. Roy Augustus. Chancellor of the University, members of the Board of Governors, Mr. President, distinguished guests, professors, graduates, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Roy Augustus, a true son of the soil, is an indefatigable statesman. A teacher by profession, he has contributed immensely to the social fabric and development of Trinidad and Tobago by way of education, community service, and his contribution to Carnival. Born in 1943, Mr. Augustus obtained his primary school education at Nelson Street Boys Roman Catholic Primary School before moving on to Fatima College for his secondary level education. In 1964, Mr. Augustus enrolled at the Government Teachers College to pursue a diploma in teaching. Upon completion of his studies, he spent the next 40 years as an esteemed educator at the primary school level, being integrally involved in shaping the minds of the younger generation. Mr. Augustus retired as principal of Rosary Boys Roman Catholic School at the end of a flourishing career in the field of teaching. Mr. Augustus then entered the private sector as property manager of the Warner Group of Companies. This, however, was short-lived as he made his decision to change the course of his professional career and ventured into the realm of politics. Mr. Augustus served as a member of the Senate in the sixth and eighth Republican Parliament of Trinidad and Tobago. And during the sixth Parliament, he served as a minister in the Ministry of Education. Thereafter, he continued his distinguished career in service to the nation as special advisor to the Minister of National Security during the years 2010 to 2012 and special advisor to the Minister of Multiculturalism and the Arts in 2012 to 2013. Mr. Augustus's involvement in the political arena continued with him serving at the executive level in several local political parties and as a consultant to major political parties across the region. With an innate desire for the betterment of society, and an avid love for the local culture and art forms, Mr. Augustus held a number of positions at the community level, some of which included member of the Southeast Port of Spain Community Council, co-founder and first chairman of Pan Trinbago, and chairman of the Steel Ban Improvement Committee. At the community level, several social groups and service organizations in Port of Spain and its environs, particularly those in Laventil, owe their birth and development to Mr. Augustus's continuous guidance. As it relates to Carnival, Mr. Augustus held the post of chairman at the National Carnival Commission, what you call the NCC, for 
for several years and currently serves the NCC as a consultant, providing strategic guidance and authoritative advice on wide-ranging issues as the organization charts its way forward. Mr. Augustus is a firm believer in the truism of giving back and has dedicated his life to selflessly serving and assisting persons to achieve their full potential. The University of Trinidad and Tobago is pleased to confer the title of Honorary Distinguished Fellow upon Mr. Roy Augustus. Thank you, Professor Hollis Liverpool. Thank you for delivering the citation on Mr. Roy Augustus. And I invite at this time the Chancellor and the President to make the presentation. Thank you, Chancellor. Thank you, President. I now call on this, on, he's no longer Mr. Alvin Cornell, is he? I call on Honorary Doctor of Humane Letters to deliver the keynote address. Welcome, Alvin Cornell, to the podium at this time. Her Excellency, Paula Mayor Weeks, Order of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, and the President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. The Board of Governors of the, United, the University of Trinidad and Tobago. Invited guests, grandons of the university who eventually will receive their graduate certificates, the parents, invited guests, the media. This is an unusual opportunity for me to be able to talk to so many highly qualitative educational people. First, you look around at the people on the head table and you realize the contributions that they have made for the University of Trinidad and Tobago over the years that they have been in existence. And then, of course, I look around and see hundreds and maybe a thousand people who will go on to the field of work in a few months' time. Some of them may already have been at work. My intention today is not to tell you all about Alvin Cornell. I think that you probably have been fed up hearing about it already. But what I would like to do is to enjoy the opportunity to communicate with the people who have just graduated, those who are going to go into the workplace, those who believe that the life out there is of a certain standard and a certain amount of enjoyment. Maybe you could even have thought that the process of studying and gaining your degree was just good enough to go into the market. But let me surprise you and tell you that this is just a license for you to establish your quality in work in the workplace of Trinidad and Tobago. Every single day from this day, you are going to be different people. The people who enjoy your presence and your certificates and your achievement will be very happy. Their parents, mothers, fathers, grandfathers, granddaughters, they will do it and they will be happy and make you happy. But what they already know is that on the other side of your life, there lies a lot of difficulties, a lot of challenges. People who you're gonna meet are probably not your peer groups. People you're gonna work with who may know just as much about you 
And in the process of this, you have to learn to communicate with them. You have to learn to understand that this is your license to learn. It is not necessarily one where you're going to go into the market and find that everything is hunky-dory. No, that's not what it is. As a matter of fact, in some cases, we've got to be wary over some of the new things that will happen to people who go out into the market. You must remember that there is a certain degree of immaturity in your ages and how early you are and how that you have just graduated. You're going to meet difficulties out there that your parents are begging as much as they're cherishing what is happening now, they are begging that you use the course and satisfy the needs of not only your parents, but of the people of Trinidad and Tobago. I don't think I've met any of you, but I'm so proud to know that this country can produce the quality of student that could turn this country around if they make the necessary arrangements. There is no doubt in my mind that the education of a man or a woman is definitely not based alone on what they learn from this, the books. Walking on the streets, dealing with people, dealing with the communities in which you were born, dealing with the problems that exist and that may have surprised you. And then you've got mothers and fathers whose examples you would want to follow, yet still your peer grouping outside may be totally different. These challenges are what you're going to be facing with in the outside world. I have the assurance that you can do it, because I have the assurance that you love Trinidad and Tobago as much as I do. And if we are to do it together, and if we are to share our knowledge together, we must divide ourselves and our education into the different communities of life in Trinidad and Tobago. It is important to your parents, because you will be a great example to them. It's important to the young people who would look up to you with a certain degree of cherish and want to literally learn the things that you want to offer them. Too many of us have had degrees and have not gone out into the community. And because of this, we have some of the minor problems which exist every day. In a day where technology is so demanding, it gives us even a greater opportunity for us to know you better, for us to see you go out into the communities and share the knowledge that you have, utilize the personalities that you carry. Now I am pretty sure that most of you have good communication skills where you can talk to people and help them to understand the good things of Trinidad and Tobago. We may have suffered a while from time to time. That is not unnatural. It happens in a lot of countries. Oh, how do I hope that this group of graduate teachers or, or graduate students who go out into the world, into Trinidad and Tobago in particular, and maybe out in the Caribbean as well, will serve the purpose that education is designed to serve. You are learners. You must be listeners. You are immature in terms of life. And anything, any more, anybody more experienced than you can offer, use it. Use it intelligently. We must be examples on the street. It is not about if you're an engineer or if you're anything else. It is you're a person who carries the type of personality and respect for other people. The persons who you want to communicate with in a very positive way and help them to understand that we too like Trinidad and Tobago. I am very thankful to the University of Trinidad and Tobago, to the, the Vice President, Mr. Uh, Imbert, who was a very good friend of men. He told me not to mention this, but he was a student at the university when I worked at UE. I won't go on to tell you what sort of a guy he was. But at the same time, I've known him for a long time. His brother taught me at Fatima College, and he was as good as his brother. So that should tell you everything. I want to hope and pray that mothers and fathers will find little problems to make the adjustments in the lives of their children so that they can help to develop the country. They can help to make the parents proud. Most of them are already very proud parents. The challenges are there outside, my friends. It's going to be yours. 
and I hope that in a little bit, maybe I have to live in Trinidad and Tobago, I will see the fruit of your work as I go along. I want to thank you and good luck and congratulations to the undergraduates. Thank you, Honorary Doctor of Humane Letters, Alvin Cornell, was a keynote address that invited reflection. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a musical interlude. The Academy for Performing Arts Vocal Ensemble, under the superb musical direction of Dr. Roger Henry, Associate Professor Corral, will now render in song, May the Road Rise, Kindly welcome them. I thank the Academy for the Performing Arts Vocal Ensemble for warming our hearts with that truly beautiful rendition. President, Professor Sarim al Zubaidi, please present to the Chancellor those persons who have met the requirements of the University of Trinidad and Tobago to be admitted to certificates, diplomas, 
and undergraduate degrees. Chancellor, I ask you to admit these candidates from these academic programs having fulfilled the requirements of the university to the certificate, diploma, and the graduate degrees for which they are presented. Graduates of the University of Trinidad and Tobago, by the authority, authority vested in me, I admit you to the certificate, diploma, undergraduate degrees for which you are to be presented and receive you as members of our society. Thank you, Chancellor. We do have a house announcement. Ms. Avion Michelle, you are required immediately at the back of the stage. I now invite Professor Rohani Maharaj, Vice Provost Undergraduate Studies, to take us through the list of undergraduate recipients. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I will now present the graduates for the Certificate in Applied Engineering. Arishma Irma Edwards. Lemuel Isaiah Jacob. Caitlin Marin. Nadim Brian Mohammed. Aaliyah Crystal Teasdale. Mark Trevor Neal. Donnell Josiah Matthias Harewood. Jed Adolphus for the Certificate in Aviation Technology. Continuing with the Certificate in Aviation Technology, I present Ajay Alonzo Alain. Daniel Anthony Alexander. Rayan Roxana Bihari. Paul William Dos Santos. Karishma Joseph. Ryan Rajesh Lakan. Daniel Elijah Lala. Payal Sukdeo. Lakshmi Ragu.
Chanel Adiola Samuel. Keston D. Williams. For the Certificate in Early Childhood Care and Education, I call upon Rayan Khadija Bob. Karen Lane. Onika Thea Murray. For the Certificate in Security and Public Safety, I now invite Nicholas Kadim Lejean. Deverett Peter Lewis. For the Certificate in Sports Studies, I call upon Nancy Corrine Joseph. Okay, so we've come to the end of this uh, certificate program level. I now call upon the graduates for the Diploma in Biomedical Equipment Technology. And I call upon Darian Jeremiah Gittens. Maharaj for the diploma in computer network and telecommunications engineering I now invite Kanisha Hana Agarat Robledo Jason Amoroso. Jonathan Akeem Pierre. Denise Christine Ross. Jasandra Annabelle Sherwood. Alana Patricia Spencer. Shade Melville. Emily Gabrielle Cambridge. For the Diploma in Maritime Operations Engineering, I will now invite Zach Frederick Archer. Jonathan Stephen Bisnath. Antonio Miguel Monroe. Bridget Singh. For the Diploma in Maritime Operations Navigation, I will now invite Shivanan Edward Bolai. Keita Natani Chaitan. Adam Christopher De Freitas. Imzan Ephraim Khan.
Jael Joseph Lacken. Amadeo Ramgewan. Leah Yanhip. For the Diploma in Security and Public Safety, I call upon Brandon Lee Ali. Cherokee Geronimo Bola. Kalisha Tasha Duncan. Sharika Forbes. Hanifa Monifa Labe. O'Karen Anderson McDavid. Neil Bijai Ragubha. Takesha Bridget Sandiford. Kadisha Michaela Valley. Keon Klein. For the Diploma in Software Engineering, I call upon Kamar Runako Agard. I continue with the Diploma in Software Engineering. I call upon Ashley Melanie Best. Emmanuel Junior Kofu Cole. Cavell Garrick. Stephen King. Nikisha Nicolette Ramroop. Sonia Alice Seda. Jonathan Christian Sampson. Justin Job Squires. Juan Shu For the Diploma in Visual Communications Design, I will now invite Afia Abina Bennett. Felicia Jahu. Afia Camelia Lamont. Marissa Anna Maria Mohammed. Shivani Ramkisun. Candice Keisha Williams. We have come to the end of the diploma level. For the Bachelor in Sports Studies, I will now call upon Aaron Ishmael 
Acres. I continue with the Bachelor in Sports Studies with specialization in exercise science, and I call upon Chandir Budusing. Kwesi Q. John. Mancini Mahadeo. For the Bachelor in Sports Studies with specialization in sport for development, I invite Randy Narine. For the Bachelor in Sports Studies with specialization in sport for development and exercise science, I invite Hannah Floyd. For the Bachelor in Sports Studies with specialization in sport for development and exercise science, I invite Ariel Hudlin. For the Bachelor in Sports Studies with specialization in sport for development and exercise science, I invite Kareem Shabazz Taylor. For the Bachelor in Sports Studies with specialization in sport for development and sport pedagogy, I invite Jariel Jack. Shanika Joseph. Melina A. Marcano. For the Bachelor in Sports Studies with specialization in sport management, I now present to you Kevon Ray Connell. <laughs> Michael Joseph Diaz. For the Bachelor in Sports Studies with specialization in sport management, Summa Cum Laude, Kamal Omari Hunt. For the Bachelor in Sports Studies with specialization in sport management and sport for development, I now invite Jared Rashid Pollard. <laughs> Carrie Ann Priscilla Simmons. <laughs> Aaliyah Vanessa Williams. For the Bachelor in Sport Studies with specialization in sport management and sport pedagogy, I now invite Janeska Balfu. <laughs> Kevon Francis Charles. I continue with the Bachelor in Sports Studies with specialization in sport pedagogy and exercise science, Nyron Nicholas Ali. <laughs> Lazaro Bariolo Campbell. Yannick Quintal. <laughs> Philbert Rice. <laughs> Marianne Cecilia Simmons. Lee 
Lisa Colleen Smith. For the Bachelor in Sport Studies with specialization in sport pedagogy and sport for development, I now call upon Cheyenne Oshuna Best. We will now call the graduates for the Bachelor of Applied Science in Biomedical Engineering. And I now invite Sherman Thora Bala. <laughs> Stefan Jamil Clapperton. Christina Roshni Lachman. Renita Whitney O'Brien. Trisha Samantha Suji. Kevin Nirmal Thomas. For the Bachelor of Applied Science in Coast and Ocean Science, I now invite Ashley Aliong. Nefera Hetep de Freitas. Jeremy G. Williams. For the Bachelor of Applied Science in Coast and Ocean Science with specialization in fisheries and aquaculture, I now invite Bisham Maharaj. Stefan A. Nurse. For the Bachelor of Applied Science in Coast and Ocean Science, I invite Alexi Cromwell. Lyndon Avinash Mahabir. Naima S. Mohammed. For the Bachelor of Applied Science in Coast and Ocean Science, I now invite Jean-Luc Mackay Robinson. I continue with the same program and now invite Nicola Sinitika Warwood. Nikolai Jamal Williams. For the Bachelor of Applied Science in Computer Engineering with option in Network and Telecommunications Engineering, I now invite Crystal Gale Clifford. Alison Sharon Morris. Atma Adrian Passad. For the Bachelor of Applied Science in Computer Engineering with option in Software Engineering, I now invite Marcus Vishan Mahes. Julia Lynn Mongu. Karen Stephen Namsu.
Paul Mark Nicholas. Ricardo Romario Smith. Akeem Hisron Ashby. Andre Emmanuel David. Cohen Devon St. Clair. Answer Douglas Doolan. For the Bachelor of Applied Science in Criminology and Public Safety, I now invite Kimberly Chang. Kinney Josiah Harry. The Hale Chenier Green. Gurda Trisha Joseph Roberts. Hafiz Khan. Rossi Mahabir. Gary Anthony Moses. Andre Jeremias Roach. I will now call upon um, Dr. Judy Rock, Associate Professor and Program Leader to present the graduates for the Center for Education Programs. Dr. Rock. <laughs> Thank you very much. Chancellor, President, ladies and gentlemen, it is our pleasure to present to you the graduating class of 2018 from the Center for Education Programs. We present Adasa Tamika Burke with specialization in agricultural science. Akila Claudia Daniel. Kareem Fazal Mohammed. Shireen Shalyan Ramdas. Rebecca Sarah Ramsu. Her sister, Renella Jane Ramsu. With specialization in business education, Kavita Shamala Ali. Himawati Bagwandin. <laughs> Kimberly Budu. <laughs> Tamika Siobhan Price. Vanita Karishma Ramroop. <laughs> Ms. 
Roxanne N.C. Richards. Devika Anjani Samaru. With specialization in early childhood care and education, Candice Mary Robinson. Radha Adam. Crystal Arthur. With specialization in early childhood care and primary education, Terry Annalise Rochelle Bucco. Christiana Diaz. Camille Nadine Francis. Christy Ghani. Juliana Jessica Gosain. Shada Shalima Khan. Avalon Leslian Leger. Kareen Denise McGilvery. Elsie Ramjatan. Stacy Anastasia Raphael. Francesca Claudia Rollins. Josanne Theodora Rogers. With specialization in food and nutrition and family management, Calvary Shekinah Grant. Faithful Dayspring Licorice. Michelle Nash Torres. Clint Kern Phillip. With specialization in language and literature, Wendy Babwa. <laughs> Savitri Baldeo. <laughs> Chelsea Balcaran. Risa Elizabeth Bolai. Aisha Afia Brewster. Chantal Chaman Singh. Monique Charles Lambert.
Nadia Tamara Gathur. Amy Felicia Garcia Hernandez. Joanna Amanda Joseph. Danielle Solange Miller. Christina Nandlal. Michaela Elizabeth Pierre. Rajan Deja Wallace. Tanil Gabriel Weeks. Samantha Victoria Williams. With specialization in mathematics, Felicia Ali. Lisa Beery. Katrina Chanai. Mathematics with summa cum laude, Tanisha Garcia. <laughs> Mathematics with summa cum laude, Wasim Hanif. <laughs> Alia Khan Ali. Amanda Shanta Kunjan. Tisha Andrea Martin. Leticia Corina Ocho. Katian. Keisha Ramcharita. <laughs> Tamil Sarah Riley. <laughs> Samira Atia Salim. Sarah Serabjit. Denisha Lakisha Sean. With a specialization in natural science, Summa Cum Laude, Richard Darian Ham. With a specialization in physical education, Florence Abiraj. With summa cum laude, Cheyenne Lee Atkin. Shania Patrice Augustus. Natalie Marianne Balgobin. <laughs> K 
Michel Beckles. Vishal Bagwandas. Shanice Cindy Defu. Andrew Michael Edwards. Leonard Stephen Ellis. Chanel Etienne. Sharika Afisha Fields. Peaches Alicia Gunness. Sarah Lee Hariram. Edwin Rupert Humphreys. Yola Nicole Jeffrey Eraldo. Clintel Lett. Christopher Mahabir. Chantal Samantha Mohan. Karen Kelsey Nelson. Elizabeth Theresa Ningwai. Rayanne Michelle Heiblau. Latoya Philip. Josanne Victoria Ramlochen. Vanita Ramnarine Singh. Ronella Crystal Romero. Chris Stephen Sanka. Cody Timothy Santlal. Selwyn O. Simmons. Tamia Jillian Sobers. Lauren Sukan. The Bachelor of Education with specialization in primary education. Adana Colette Aguilera. Alana Ali. Ansar Ali.
Danraji Yasodra Ali. Onella Samantha Ali. Sarah Mariah Ali. Sarah Rabia Ali. Sadika Ali. Silviana Ali. Rihanna Celine Arjun Singh. Vanessa Nandini Bechu. Raquel Akila Bahadur. Susan Vasanti Bahadur. Raquel Balkaran. Ayana Quesida Batiste. Chelsea Abia Bartholomew. Anjani Beaky. Katina Adrian Anderson. Kia Bettel. <laughs> Princess Beauty Bagauti. Fallon Renee Bibi. Kimberly Bijou. Chris Ann Burbel. Janice Sonia Bunyan. Daniela Nilan Budu. Avita Nalini Budram. Rikash Shivan Bridgelow. Nalini Chelsea Brooks. Kevon Micah Brown. Candice Omelia Burnley. Mahuri Chablal. <laughs> Vanessa Chankasing. <laughs> Fate 
Andrea Collymore. Maylene Cowie Clark. Claire Ann Cuffey. Carl Junior Daniel. Amelia Suzanne Das. <laughs> Kelly Kumari Das. <laughs> Kadisha Rennell David. Karel Davis. Amanda Diana Dicoto. Diana Drusilla De Leon. Shanta Deulat. <laughs> Risa Devsaran. Christina Danraj. Thank you. Martika. Bernadette Dorn and baby Vernissa Dugar Xavier Dindio. Sharon Dumont Maharaj. Melissa Dwarika Cook. Celine Tia Edwards. Nirupa Keshani Iso. Rachel Francis Jones. Vicky Ganga. Anna Maria. Anastasia Ganpat. Sarah Alicia Garcia Medina. Summa cum laude. Savitri Nikki George. Giselle Maria Gerard. Janella Gordon. Akisha Yashoda Ganes.
Yashoda Hariprasad. Samantha Lisa Hariram. Chrissy Harry Passard. Kimberly Sonia Hazel. Shannon Maria Hazard. Clea Hills Debedeen. Michaela Huggins. Ziba Ibrahim. Maya? Maya Dyer Jackson. Rishma Jai Mungal. Diana Denise James. Omati Janki Mohammed. Kalina Ayoka Joseph. Tessa Joseph. Vigatha Joseph. Ramona Sumati Jatla Joseph. Jasodra Kaladin. <laughs> Karian Avitas Kalawan. Shamiza Karim. Vintra Brittany Kadaru. Anavia Ornella Kisundat. Tiffany Candice Lalchan. Anika Danielle Lewis. Latoya Denisa Lucien. Gabriella Lucio Francis. Ricola Faith Mahabir. Reshma Maharaj. Rishmati Maharaj.
Trisha Maharaj. Rebecca Maharaj Jagannath. Nazrina Manu. Nalini Maraj Manbod. Vintra Maraj. Stephen Ernest Mark. Renee Nikita Martin. Kayla Camille Martinez. Shanice L.J. McDonald. Aliyah Shanice McIntyre. Krista Kabasha Mitu. Marsha Lisa Melville. Primala Miwalau. <laughs> Aliyah Mohammed. Shafiza Amanda Mohammed. Ria Kim Molino. Sulin Ariel Munu. Deborah Veronica Nandlau. Carissa Naomi Nandlau. Cheyenne Eldora Norris. Angel, Angel Narain, Danmati Diana Natu, Radha Nakchedi Phil. Nicole Salisha Nelson. Amanda Tiffany Nicholas. Anasha Paltu Siratan. Janelle Tracy Patia. Oh, 
Passion. Megan Gabriella Passion. Rebecca Pedro. Patrice Janelle Peters. Kiba Candice Phillip. Nikisha Amanda Ragbear. Irija Ragunanan Ishmael. Marielle Cree Rajbali. Nirmal Ramdas Singh. Sarah Sharon Rose Ramisal. Trisha Shushmita Ramharak. Simona Bamini Ramkisun. Sati Ramlagan. Sabrina Christy Ramlagan. Niala Ramlakan Babwa. Shoba Arti Ramnares. Rupa Ramodit. Vanessa Lachmi Ramuta. Julie Rampasad. Sally Rampasad. Karina Christine Ramratan. Avish Preston Ramsahai. Kavita Ramsarup. Rachel Lily Rupchand. Sherry Rupchand. Ian Nicholas Sadafel. Josan Samantha Samaru. Lauren Stacian Samuel.
Tiffany Andriana Sicheran. Ravita Sharma Ramcharan. Sheldon Sudat. Alex Singh. Diana Marissa Paul. Ravina Singh. <laughs> Vinay Singh. Pauline Renicha Smith. Salisha Sukwa. Aviana Melissa Spencer. Donnell Deborah Stanley. Adelina Brenda Sukai. Melissa Supasad Rivero. Danelle Carissa Taylor. Vidya Samantha Tikasing. Cindy Tyson. Akisha Kimberly Victor. Stacy Moy Villarreal. Cassie Cami Whiskey. Miranda Whittier. Ayana Denise Williams. Khadija Trisha Winchester. Janelle Victoria Young Lumpkin. With a specialization in social studies sociology, Fadila Budram. <laughs> Crystal Alicia Elcock. Colleen Gittens. Shaquanda Jemima Green. National Netball. Avian Ayana Mitchell. <laughs> Mitchell. 
Giselle Kadisha Seafort. Sarika Silva. With specialization in social studies, geography. Christy Uma Bagauti. Marissa Chanel Bifner. Rebecca Khadija Chikori. Lauren Donawa. Anushka Mahabir. Shoba Pearl Manu. Andrea Vanessa Noel. Keisha Karina Ramtahal. Priscilla Samantha Thomas. With specialization in social studies history, Robin Rebecca Budu. Nedfa Babafimi Fortune. With specialization in special needs and primary education. Karina Lincia Ali. Colette Andrea Brown. Khadija Tahira Kreese. Jean Pierre James Ganpat. Claudia Jacob Burnett. <laughs> Cecile Kiva LeBanc. Eva Marie Valen Mitchell. Rachelan Noel Miller. Kizaya Ruth Ramdan. Lachmi Ramnanan. Mariah Summer Ramnares. Kishel Leisha Sipasad. Brooklinda Singh.
Trisha Sherma Teasdale. Leslie-Ann Tum. Merlin Melissa Mohammed. With specialization in vocational and technical education in the field of technical drawing, Ishmael Abdul. Joanza Emmanuel Forgeny. I now turn you over to the professor to continue with the graduation ceremony for the Bachelor of Sciences in Natural Science. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rock. That was quite a handful. <laughs> So, I would now like to present the graduates for the Bachelor of Science in Nautical Science and Maritime Operations. Please welcome Aaron Alex Cadet. Shanice Renee Clark. Joshua Kyle Dindial. Ketura Francis. Ronald Kurt Gibson. Scott Eiffel. Miles O. Nicholas. Brandon Stefan Patino. Dolan Rampatop. Ansel Francis Thomas. Eden Anissa Thomas. So we've come to the end of our program level for the Bachelor of Science programs. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Rohani Maharaj. Thank you, Dr. Judy Rock. Thank you, Chancellor and President and Registrar. You had a long haul. Would you put your hands together in appreciation of your work? And somehow I feel that you all are underplaying the business of celebration this evening. Days, nights, months, Yes, I think I can ask them, hip hip, let's hear you, hip hip. As I say, congratulations to all of you wonderful achievers. Earlier, we were treated to May the Road Rise. Now APA performs for us Mariah Carey's hero. Kindly welcome them.
don't have to be afraid of what you are. There's an answer. If you reach within your soul, and the sorrow that you know will melt away. for performing arts, vocal ensemble, for that very beautiful and very inspiring performance. President, Professor Sarim al zubaidi please present to the Chancellor those persons who have met the requirements of the University of Trinidad and Tobago and are to be admitted to their respective postgraduate degrees. you to admit these candidates from these academic programs having fulfilled the requirements of the university to the master's and doctoral degrees for which they are presented.
graduates of the University of Trinidad and Tobago, by the authority vested in me, I admit you to the master's and doctoral degrees for which you are to be presented and receive you as graduate members of our society. I now invite Dr. Stephen Joseph, who will take us through the list of postgraduate awardees. Executive Masters in Sport Management, Michelle Allen Penny. Curtis Humphreys. International Masters in Sport for Development. Maurice Connolly. Ravi Lutchman. Master of Education in Educational Technology. Daniela Christina Aliang. Sharon Noel Butte. Neves Reynold Pritchlow. Patsy Cassian de France. Quasi Nicholas Francet. Disha Jinri Garcia. Denise Victoria Hilaire. Ravina Hussain. Shivani Sitahal. Narish Siwa. Pauline St. Rose. Ka Kyle Jason Strawn. Joseph Peter Valley. Joanna Jasmine White. Natalia Lindian Williams. Master of Science in Environmental Science and Management. Juliet Bahor. Desri Giselle Baldio Ramchan. Amanda Christiana Carrington.
Clara Dessain. Lorraine Alana De Leon. Samantha Danielle Duncan. Crystal Rebecca Felix. Basid Rudin Ahmad Hussain. Natasha Alicia Johnson. Dan Mati Nikita Latchman. Janil Mary Lazama. Salim Javed Mondol. Rhoda Paul. The Master of Science in Information Communication Technology. Melissa Jadunanan. Simone Rosamond Leon. Alicia Olivia Seals. The Master of Science in Integrated Coastal and Ocean Management. Joella Adana Cadell. Monique Elizabeth Fiera. Edric Hargreaves. Leticia Whitney Lawrence. Risa Chantel Rampasad. Kendall Romani. The Master of Science in Operational Maritime Management, Kimberly Albert. Ricardo Christopher Allen. Kaylan Bourne. Brian Charles. Candice Rachel Danielle. Siobhan Ryan Diaz. Sheldon A. Edgehill. Michael Roberto Ferreira.
Avinash Sastri Gopal. Dion Roland Lawrence. Nicolette Lewis. Pratiska Parson. Vene Nicholas Silochan. Chanel Siobhan Simmons. The Masters in Health Administration. Silla Kalwisa Bisessa. Brian Link Patrick. This is the end of the program level for the masters. So we move on to the Doctor of Philosophy in Education, or PhD candidates. The first candidate is Barbara Constance. And I will read a little profile on Barbara as she walks towards the podium. Barbara Constance is currently a senior instructor in language and linguistics at the Center for Education Programs, where she began working in 2009. She has been a teacher for the past 24 years at both the primary and secondary school levels. She was also an assistant lecturer in English language at the University of the West Indies. Barbara edits a variety of books and papers, including postgraduate theses, and has facilitated a number of writing workshops at UTT, UB, Massey Technology, and various primary schools in the country. She currently serves as the Assistant Chief Examiner in the Caribbean Advanced Proficiency Exam Communication Studies. Barbara holds a diploma in teacher training from the Valsine Teachers College, where she received the Teacher of the Year Award, a scholarship, and the President's Medal. Her scholarship led her to UWE, where she obtained first class honors in the Bachelor of Arts in English Language, Literature, and Education. She later pursued a Master of Philosophy degree in Educational Linguistics at UE. Barbara continues to enjoy her journey in this field and considers it an honor to be an educator. Barbara's PhD study is entitled, Teacher's Perception of and Experiences with Pedagogical Approaches to Teaching Grammar in Primary Schools in Trinidad and Tobago. Her research employed a hermeneutic phenomenological case study design that explored the challenges teachers face in finding appropriate pedagogical approaches for students whose first language is Trinidad Creole. One important recommendation coming out of her study is the need to review and adapt second language learning theories to fit the language culture of Trinidad and Tobago. Ladies and gentlemen, Barbara Constance. And her supervisor, Dr. Hewitt Bradshaw.
Our second candidate is Paulette Jocelyn, Doctor of Philosophy in Societal Studies. Paulette Jocelyn is a trained social worker who holds a bachelor's degree in social work and a master's degree in public sector management from the University of the West Indies. She's a resident life coordinator at UTT at the Ekiaf campus, where she has served for many years as a social worker. Her research on counseling intervention by school social workers in primary schools grew out of her concerns for students with emotional and behavioral problems who often underperform at primary schools. Paulette's study utilized a mixed method research design aimed at triangulating qualitative and quantitative data obtained from focus group interviews and structured questionnaires. The instruments were designed to yield information which would allow for the identification of optimally effective counseling intervention protocols used to treat various behavioral problems manifested by children of primary school age. Findings from the study suggest the need for improvement in the type of services provided by social workers to primary school children. This recommendation can also be extended to counseling services offered at the secondary school level where similar emotional and behavioral problems impact student academic performance and social interaction. Ladies and gentlemen, we present Paulette Jocelyn. And a supervisor. Final candidate, Doctor of Philosophy in Sport Studies, is Nicole Paris. Nicole Camille Paris holds a bachelor's degree in education, a master's degree in physical education, and a postgraduate diploma in education. She has been a physical education teacher at the secondary school level for over 10 years. Nicole began her doctoral research in sports study at the University of Trinidad and Tobago, our very own UTT, because of her passion for healthy living and a strong belief that the fight against obesity should begin with daily structured physical activity programs for school children. Physical education has evolved from a practical activity on the fields and gyms to a classroom subject. And much like the nation's adult population, there is evidence that child obesity is increasing in Trinidad and Tobago. Nicole's research explored participants' perceptions of the optimal elements of a structured daily physical activity program for secondary school students in Trinidad and Tobago. The study utilized a mixed method research design comprising both qualitative 
and quantitative data. The study culminated with an action research component in which Nicole designed and implemented a six-week structured program of physical activity for Form 3 students in one secondary school, where she looked at the possible changes in students' biometric measurements and attitudes after completion of the program. Findings from a study suggest that there is need for well-structured physical activity in the secondary school curriculum to facilitate lifelong health practice. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Nicole Paris. Thank you, Dr. Stephen Joseph. Thank you, Chancellor, President, and Registrar. And of course, you know what's going on now, right? We went higher, we reached higher, masters, and then all those brilliant people. And it's not just about academia. It's about resilience. It's about perseverance. I bow to them all. Ladies and gentlemen, hip hip hooray for our great achievers. Hip hip. Hip hip. And for a moment in time, I nearly got into trouble because I'd forgotten my role as orator. Because when Barbara Constance, who's in staff with me, came up, I wanted to kind of get on. But um, I looked and I saw the president. I saw the chancellor and I said, no, Richard, you must conduct yourself as any orator should. Once again, congratulations to these great achievers. Put a lusty round of applause to all of them. I wish to invite all graduating students to join the UTT Alumni Association. The objectives of the UTT Alumni Association are to promote interaction among alumni members and between alumni and UTT. Encourage education, research, and commercialization of innovative ideas. Keep members informed on the progress of the University of Trinidad and Tobago. Mentor undergraduate, postgraduate students through co-op training or similar work-related experiences. Provide professional development training opportunities for its members. Recognize alumni achievement. You may join the UTT Alumni Association by going on the UTT website at www.u.tt. So please, let's build this nation. It gives me great pleasure to invite Mr. Hira Dukran at this time to lead the graduates in the Alumni Pledge. And graduates, we'd like to hear you as you say the pledge. Welcome on stage, Mr. Hira Dukran. And let's have your loud response. Might I say, first of all, you all look inspiring, motivating, and astonishing in your graduation gongs today. <laughs> now, as the president of the Alumni Association, I welcome you all and would like to congratulate you on this journey at this point of moment. So I would like to 
you know, I know you all have a little bit more energy, so I know I want to hear some loud hoorays, loud noise, that you finally reach, finally reach this milestone right now. So let me hear it. <laughs> now, I would like to ask all graduating members to please stand as I recite the alumni oath and you all can follow along. As alumni of the University of Trinidad and Tobago, we solemnly swear to uphold the honorable traditions of our university. Imbued by the spirit of innovation and entrepreneurship, which is at the center of UTT's mission. We will endeavor to lend creativity and passion to all that we undertake. As graduates of the National University, we also commit ourselves to the highest standard of service to our community and country. We will further strive to earn our own place among UTT's alumni who, by their devotion to these ideals, have brought recognition and honor to our alma mater. We will provide moral, intellectual, and financial support, and will encourage others to attend our alma mater, and thus to contribute to the perpetuation of the necessary and noble work of UTT. I guess you all may have a seat. <clears throat> now, as I exit this stage, again, as Mr. Pierre reiterated, please come and join us to our alumni booth. Register today and become a member of the alumni because we have a lot of surprises to unveil and a lot more packages and special to give out to our alumni members. And before I exit again, keep in mind, November 30th, we have a very special moment for you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Dukran. And graduates, I hope you all remember the oath that you have taken today, but your commitment to UTT remains. I now invite Ms. Cecile LeBlanc, graduate of the Bachelor of Education, Special Needs and Primary Education Program, to deliver the valedictory address. Her Excellency, Paula May Weeks, ORTT, President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago and Chancellor of the University of Trinidad and Tobago. Professor Clement Imber, Acting Chairman, UTT Board of Governors and other members of the Board of Governors. Councillor Dr. Agatha Carrington, Secretary of Health, Wellness and Family Development 
Tobago House of Assembly, Mr. Alvin Cornell, Honorary Doctor of Humane Letters, Mr. Roy Augustus, Honorary Distinguished Fellow, Heads and Members of Tertiary Institutions, Professor Sarim Al-Zubadi, President of the University of Trinidad and Tobago, Professor Festus Adeyobo, Vice Provost, Postgraduate Studies and Research, Professor Rouhani Maharaj, Vice Provost, Undergraduate Studies, Mr. Philip Robinson, Registrar, the University of Trinidad and Tobago. Orators, Dr. Tricia Alvarez and Mr. Richard Pear. Academic and corporate staff of the University of Trinidad and Tobago. Members of the Student Guild and other students of the University of Trinidad and Tobago. Graduates of 2018, specially invited guests, family members and friends, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. To the graduating class of 2018, we made it. Our hearts endured, and this is the moment we have worked hard to achieve. We are the heartbeats of the nation. Today, we are now equipped with the tools and requisite skill set to transform our nation to that of a global reach and high international standard. I have a background in education, and at this year's convention of the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association, there was for me a meaningful and impressive theme, teachers, the heartbeat of public education. Upon reflection, this team resonated very deeply with me, and I have found it to be most fitting for an occasion such as this. Therefore, I wish to extend this metaphor to encompass all graduates of the University of Trinidad and Tobago, the national university, that we are the heartbeats of the nation. As your valedictorian, I would like to speak about matters of the heart and how we have been transformed by our collective experience at the University of Trinidad and Tobago. As we know, the heart is a very important organ in our body. In fact, without it, how can we live? Of all our organs, it is the most vital. Therefore, it is essential to sustain our hearts with the right nutrients, which I wish to suggest or prescribe must include formula 4H. Humility, honesty, hard work, and humor. Fellow graduates, if we fail to do so, the effects can be detrimental. Permit me to extend the metaphor with a comparison. Just as the body is affected by clogged arteries, resulting in low blood levels, our promise and full potential can disappear. And we then become people stuck in a system, not being able to progress, performing below our capacity, and eventually the heart will stop beating. What then will happen to our beloved nation if we are the heartbeats of the nation? Let us take a moment to listen and feel our heartbeats. Whether we are holders of a certificate in aviation technology, a diploma in security and public safety, a bachelor's of education, a master's in health administration, a doctor of philosophy, or whichever field of study, at this moment, our hearts beat as one. For some, this moment represents a first, our first degree, our first step towards attaining a degree, the first member of our family to attain a degree. 
or the first of many steps to achieve our desired goals. If not, I have a guaranteed first for you. We, the graduates of the class of 2018, we are part of an historic moment in the life of our university and our nation. This year gives us our first president and chancellor of our university, Her Excellency, Paula May Weeks. And this moment, we must applaud. My fellow heartbeats, over the last four years, and more for some, at the University of Trinidad and Tobago, we have certainly learned a lot. To become professional speed writers after procrastinating to start assignments, which were all due at the same time. We have also learned from our peers that teamwork makes the dream work. Remember all those group projects? Costumes, composing and performing calypsos, or our many field visits. One of my most memorable was a visit to Princess Elizabeth School, where a young man asked me to ask God to just let him walk. Ladies and gentlemen, a child with a special need will inspire you to be a special kind of person. It was at that very moment that I discovered my first H, humility. Life should not be taken for granted. It was only a few weeks ago our beloved nation experienced devastation from the floods. It mattered not what type of car you drove, brand of appliances owned, or your status. For some, everything was lost on that fateful day. In that moment of despair and hopelessness, our hearts came together as one, as we rallied to help those in need. Likewise, our UTT family did not disappoint and heeded the call for assistance. Indeed, Volunteerism and community service is firmly embedded in the DNA of UTT. To my fellow graduates, UTT was our home, eventually becoming our family away from home. Our instructors, non-teaching and ancillary staff ensured that our learning environment was as pleasant and as comfortable as possible. It was Helen Keller, a deaf and blind author, who said, the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen, nor felt, nor touched, sorry, but felt in the heart. Thank you to my special education family and our instructors leading our course as we continue to advocate for persons with special needs. Who remember our semester meetings when we heard the mantra, you will only do this once, or religiously counting down the weeks, semesters, or years to this day. Long lines waiting to print in the library, or waiting for a book on reserve. Thank you, Google. You save us most times. What about the anxiety to get your portal open to register for a particular instructor class? Most of our instructors left us with something memorable or a lesson that will last a lifetime. The most valuable one I learned is to live. Live a life pleasing to God, whoever you perceive him to be. All of the knowledge and experiences will no doubt be of great value as we go forward in life. As a reflective practitioner, I now look back on the past four years on entering UTT. Our hearts, not knowing what to expect, played to different drums. Some hearts were troubled. Some hearts were looking for love. Most other hearts were simply beaten. 
Having been told Utity will transform you, I ask, what did this time and place do for me, for you, for us? Did it really transform us? If so, how did it transform us? Did it reveal our super hidden powers? Did it show us we can survive on limited sleep? Did it empower us with empathy and willingness to make sacrifices for the greater good? I recall one day I found myself under a sign with the initials U-T-T. -T. And I saw the letters change before my eyes from spelling out the University of Trinidad and Tobago to giving me the answer to my question, what happened here? The letters spelled out for me, you transform Trinidad and Tobago, U-T-T. -T. It was at this point I understood the simplest and most powerful truth about our time here at this university and about our journey to today and onward. We came to the University of Trinidad and Tobago and we leave here today saying, you transform us and now it is our duty to transform Trinidad and Tobago. It is a majestic process to be the beautiful seed that becomes the bountiful tree. In that process, you transformed us, UTT. We are now individuals who can identify how far we have come and how far we still have to go. Heartbeats of the nation, there is no time like the present time where we must protect and value the truth. We must feed our hearts with a second H, honesty. I must admit that I'm not always honest with myself. I have learned that the hardest truths are the ones we have to tell ourselves. Have you ever received a grade and felt disappointed? Then start to blame everyone else, our instructors, our group members, perhaps we needed to be honest with ourselves and know we did not put in the work required. My fellow heartbeats, we must always speak our truth, regardless of the consequences. Be courageous. It helps one sleep better. For there is nothing more noble than waking up with one's integrity and one's heart in the right place. A good conscience is the softest pillow one can sleep on. As we enter into the world of work, into the world of work, what will your truth be? Are you willing to stand alone for that truth? We see many are not standing for what is right and what is true. I encourage you, as I encourage myself, let us be the change our nation needs and restore honesty in TNT. Graduates, the great Nelson Mandela said, and I quote, it always seems impossible until it's done. We are no strangers to hard work. Remember all those assignments we somehow managed to get done with limited resources. To the part-time students, I never realized your sacrifice, courage, and commitment until I became a part-time student myself. To my fellow part-timers, you deserve much respect. <laughs> Heartbeats, I urge you, whether you become an employee or employer, do the work required for the job. Her Excellency, in her inaugural presidential speech, urge the nation, get to work on time. Actually do work while you are there and go the extra mile if needed. Now is not a time to rest from the stress of studying. It is not a time to say, 
I have arrived. I have a degree. Let us heed Her Excellency call and accomplish the third H, hard work. In order for our hearts to function effectively, we have to nourish it with the secret lesson UTT was teaching us all the time. The fourth H, the need to have a sense of humor. I am not suggesting that we not take, take things seriously or that we must have light, make light of dark and heavy matters. We must, yes, put in the hard work, be humble about it, and never stray from being honest. But then, we must also call into play our sense of humor. We can make jokes, we can laugh at jokes, but we must more importantly see the experiences, the twists and the turns, the ups and the downs of life with a sense of humor. Push back the negatives, fully embrace the positives. This is a way to say to the challenges, you must be joking. And a way to say to the breakthroughs, that deserves a good laugh. You see, God is not only a Trini, but he gave Trinbagonians a special sense of humor. How else do we explain a dare with no eyes? I have no idea. Take time to laugh. A merry heart is good medicine. Have a good sense of humor. In closing, I would like us to take a moment to remember our colleagues and instructors whom may have met, who we may have met at the start of our journey or along the way but who are not here with us today. They would have added heartbeats and fond memories to our lives for the better. We thank them for their contributions. I call on you today as we leave our beloved UTT. Some of us would return to pursue higher degrees. It is our responsibility to defend our alma mater because we are UTT and we have persevered. As a final thought going forward, I charge us as graduates of the University of Trinidad and Tobago, transformed and trained to be the heartbeats of our nation, to go forth and be the transformational guides and leaders. You can transform Trinidad and Tobago. Together, yes, we can transform Trinidad and Tobago. Let us remember Formula 4-H. Keep our hearts clean with honesty, fueled by hard work, nourished with humor, and above all, filled with humility. This is a message from my heart to your hearts, to you, the heartbeats of our nation. I thank you and do enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you very much, Miss Cécile LeBlanc, your valedictorian, and how well she allowed you to engage in reflection. She reminded you that today, while you celebrate your academic achievement, that the journey continues. If you are the heartbeat of the nation, then you have a shared responsibility. Make a difference. Once again, congratulations to you, and good luck as the journey continues. Some of you looked rather disturbed when the rain started pouring down. What you are not aware of is that at UTT we do things in a very special way. That's special effects for the musical interlude that's coming up. And in fact, when I came in at 11.30 today, they were doing a voice check. I guarantee you will enjoy this one. Swear a little, enjoy a lot. Welcome APA Vocal Ensemble under the superb musical direction of Dr. Roger J. Henry, Associate Professor, Choral UTT APA. Put your hands together for Reno Rama. <laughs> Le 
fuss and they say we want we fetch. Yes, they abuse and they cuss and they say this is our threat. Yes, they damn and they blast and they say we hope it's true. They won't let the cancer we jump up. 1972. Some of them even say that they come from on Coco and they won't let me play, but they blame it poorly. for Performing Arts, Vocal Ensemble, for their truly stellar performances this evening. Your musical interludes have lifted our spirits and set a beautiful tone to our graduation ceremony this evening. Don't you agree with me? Can we give them another round of applause? I now invite the Chancellor to declare the graduation ceremony closed. I wish to sincerely congratulate the newly graduated members of our society on their achievement, and I now declare the ceremony closed. Honored guests, please stand and remain in your places until the Chancellor's procession, graduates, and academic staff have retired.